Okay, welcome. Uh, this video will walk through exercise 2-1, building a linear regression. Um, you first need to log on to the uh, course, and it's loading. After logging in, the first thing that we want to do is we want to um, you know, go to explore and visualize data. So on the uh, top left, you click on this hamburger icon and then click on explore and visualize data. And then it's going to start a new report. And And we want to specify the uh, data first. Or you can say you, you can start with new. And then let's specify the data. And uh, we have available data and data sources. We can use this part later. And among the data available, we want to choose VS Bank at the end of the uh, list. and open it and then um, to run regression we have to go to object icon so let's uh, click on the object pane and then scroll down to find under visual statistics over here we have linear regression. So I will put it on it or drag it to uh, to the canvas. And then it shows uh, uh, linear regression canvas. And here uh, the first thing that we want to because we are going to add data first, let us uh, stop running the linear regression. So in the top right you see this option button and there is a disable auto refresh so click on this option and we are doing this uh, because we want to specify the model first and then uh, enable auto refresh later. and then we want to go to um, roles so click on roles and uh, under this linear regression if this one does not appear then you have to click on linear regression and then response variable Let's add a response variable, in other words, the y, the dependent variable. Um, that's a target interval new sales. So you added that. And continuous effect or uh, independent variables. We want to add all the log, log, uh, log the RFM 1 to 12. So you want to choose this one and go to the end of the list and press shift and click on this one and then you have selected 12 variables like this click on ok and you just added 12 independent variables and then uh, you want to also add classification effects we have two categories, account activity level 3 and the customer value level 5. So let's add them on the line. Then you have, uh, uh, you can now enable auto refresh, go back to the menu and enable auto refresh and then we run the model. And so you ran the model, you have fee summary and uh, residual plot and assessment are uh, all at the same time. It's like a dashboard. You can see R square 0.0933, observation used 211, 1000 observations, and unused ones are 800548,000 uh, unused responses we have. Uh, the reason is because uh, there are missing values, so it uh, eliminated all these missing values. 
we only have use observations uh, right here. Um, the R square is 0.09 and it's not that high. Um, uh, so we have to you know, do things so that uh, we can improve R square. Uh, in other words, only less than 10% of variation was explained by these 10 independent variables. And uh, we can now uh, go to, uh, if you want to change this R square to different uh, statistics, you can you know, choose, for example, AIC or uh, root mean square estimate over there. Uh, so you can change that. And we have this uh, 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 dashboard here. If you want to change the display, then you can go to Options. And uh, under Linear Regression, there's a General and Model Display and General. We have a Plot Layout. Um, and we can change to uh, Stack then you can see it's one one by one. So this somewhere over there, residual assessment. So we can see different uh, screen at a time. So here, let's first examine this summary. Um, so we see this default line is 0.05. P-value is 0.05. These are independent variables. And uh, these are having power to explain uh, the net sales, the target interval new sales. We see that uh, RFM2, average sales lifetime, is very significant variable. Its p value is very low, less than 0.001. And uh, average sales past three years, that's also a very significant variable. Sales past three years, customer value level, month since last purchase, count purchase past three years last product purchase amount, uh, account activity level, and uh, uh, lifetime directory promo uh, uh, and uh, customer tenure. These are all important variables. Um, now the rest four variables, uh, count total promos and years directory promo, promotion and, and count purchase lifetime, count direct promos. Uh, these are also significant variables, but uh, uh, it's not as significant as the other variables. Now let's re examine the residual plot over here. Um, residual plots are important because it gives an idea which variables are uh, not really um, fitting with the regression line. So uh, if it is close to zero, that's a very good sign. However, if it is uh, you know, coming off like this, then it's not a good sign. And as you can see, it seems like uh, as the uh, predictive values increases, uh, the variance is also increasing over there, and we have these uh, uh, outliers over there. So the difference between uh, the predictive value and observation value is so high in this case, so it's uh, not a good sign. So we need to do something about this. And From this residual plot, we can find the two uh, things. The first one is the variance of the residuals seems to increase as a function of the predictive value. Uh, the second thing, as I, as I have shown you, you know, there's a little trend here that is increasing over there. And there are some very large positive outliers in the residuals. The influence plot can help you to explore the effect of these outliers uh, on the fitted model. So this one, if you choose them like this, and as you can see that they are outliers and we need to do something about them. And uh, if you want to look at what these are, then right click and uh, show selected. Click on it. And it's going to show the selected values. So predict values Target into the new sales was uh, about uh, half a million. A predicted was uh, 37,771. 37, 
and uh, uh, you can scroll to the right and see all the values over there. So possibly these are outliers and uh, we may need to uh, delete this. Um, so close this and then now let's go to assessment tab and here uh, you can see that uh, the line this line plot show model predictions versus the actual response amount in the data. To create the lines, both outcomes and predictions are dimmed into percentiles, although the model's predictions seem consistent with responder outcomes over the middle range of the plot. The model seems to underpredict the responses uh, at the high and low end of the response range. So you can see if there are uh, high gaps here, then you, you see that uh, the model is not really fitting uh, the data very well. So let's go to now option and under the influence plot, uh, we want to create influence plot. So let's click on it. And then the moment you click on it, influence plot was created and uh, the top five variables are having very influential. Uh, so let's see what these are. So click on just uh, select them like this and right click. And you can remove this one. Oh, you can uh, new filter from selection and exclude selection. Then the model is going to run without these um, influence, influential observations, and the feed will uh, be better than before. Okay. So we have more reservation uh, uh, influence plot. However, let's go back to summary. Like that. Um, it has more uh, values. We see that. Uh, before we did not have this significant, but uh, now we need two variables are significant, and the fit became better. And if you go back to influence, say you want to remove this, and again right click, go to new filter, and exclude selection. And we are removing them, and it's running the model again. And uh, the feed might get better or might not. So um, it depends on your situations, and you have to be careful about this. But uh, uh, when you feel that, that these observations are really outliers and too influential, then you can remove them and then see how, what, how, what happens, what kind of impact it has on your model later. And as you can see, uh, the variables become very significant. All of them are very significant right now. Uh, it was significant before, but uh, right now it's, uh, all of them are very significant. Okay? So this is how you're going to learn uh, run linear regression.